Hi, I'm Daniel from HP OO, and in this video, I want to show you how to use dynamic variables in O Designer, the OO web based flow editor. In order to do that, we'll take an existing flow and we'll try to enhance it by logging the errors in a log file. Let's proceed. We have our flow which checks the power state of a VM and if it's up, it executes a command and if it's not up, the flow powers on the machine before executing the command. In our design, we have three points of failures. One on the get power state step, one on the power on step and one on the sh command step. These failures point to the default failure. In order to log the errors, no matter the point of failure, we'll create a new flow and we'll drag it to the default failure. This flow will get a timestamp and an error message and we'll log it in a log file. We use for that get time and add text to file operations. Another important thing to do is to define our flow inputs. The first one is the log message input. As a flow input, we also need to provide the log file path. This will be assigned to the file path input from the add text to file operation. The result from the get time step will be aggregated to the failure message in the add text to file step. For that, we'll use dynamic variables. Therefore, We'll open our expression editor for text input and we'll use the timestamp dynamic variable and we'll append the error message that we'll take from the flow input. Our login flow is ready. Going back to our main flow, we'll drag the flow that we just created in the default failure. Each time the flow will fail, it will go and execute the flow that we add here before the execution actually ends. The enhancement that we need to do are not ready yet. We still need to gather the proper errors. We start with the get power state step. On the outputs, we add the exception output, the return code output, and also a custom output called step fail message, where we tell that the fail happened on this step while trying to get the state of our VM. We do exactly the same thing to the other steps. We have now all the information that we need in order to create a detailed log. Now in the log flow, we'll provide the log file location and also the log message where we will aggregate all the information using dynamic variables. We want our log customized. Firstly, we add the error word in order to be easy to filter the log. Then we will add the return code so we will identify the error. Then we add the fail summary from the step fail message input. This fail is caused by an exception, so we add our exception dynamic variable. We are good now to deploy our flow to central and run it. In central, we go ahead and trigger the flow. On the input prompts, we'll provide some wrong inputs in order to make the flow fail in different stages. When we open our log file, we are able to see how each log message looks like. Thank you for watching. For more videos and guides, you can follow our community.